A lot of people think that creating a startup is like blindfolding yourself and throwing darts at a dartboard. It's almost essentially all luck and if you're lucky you'll hit the bullseye and create something that will greatly impact humanity and generate a ton of wealth. But I don't really see startups like that. I do agree that there is a element of luck, but I do think there are steps you can follow that maximize your chances at actually creating a successful company. And that doesn't even have to be a unicorn company. I think the further down you scale it, the more in your control it is to create a good business. And I think a vital way of following that, the best formulaic way or steps you can follow, even though it's not a one size fits all solution, is probably gonna be following people that have not only done it before, but have mentored and seen thousands of other people do it as well. And that is why I am such a big fan of the philosophy that they have at Y Combinator. And if you don't know what Obsidian is, Obsidian is a note-taking platform, and that's what I'm showing you here today. Imagine if you could create your own Wikipedia page of all the knowledge, notes, and references that you've ever seen or read or watched on YouTube, and create a sort of second brain where you could store all of that and reference it whenever you want. Well, I've been doing that for the last year on Obsidian, and even before that, for the last five years on Notion. And I've decided to make a couple of my notes public for you guys to check out. This is what is called a mind map or a second brain Brain, and I hosted it on just my site, map.systole.dev, which I'll link in the description below. And essentially, I split it up into a couple of parts. If you're interested in coding and content creation, I have notes on that. But the most notable thing that I've been building out is my notes on startups. And you can see here, you can even see a graph of like all the things I've done and how they sort of map to each other based on the notes I've made public. And essentially, I've broken it down into two parts. The first part is the steps I normally see SaaS companies companies take and within each one of these steps I have a bunch of notes breaking down that step what is the conventional YC take on how you should go about these steps for example let's look into idea creation you can see here that it is just a giant note of idea creation you can see all the things that link to it so for example the idea of pivoting the idea of product market fit the idea of startups and some of these things you'll see are gray which means I haven't created a note for it yet a dedicated note for that concept just quite yet but you will see that the things that aren't grayed out, so sort of like idea space, will link you to the note of idea space. And like I said, this is pretty much just a giant internal wiki. And the first part of it, like I said, are these steps. I have the first step, which is idea creation. I have notes on the idea validation part. So like what you should look for in your idea and make sure that it is good, a checklist, as well as some of the sources I have. And I have a bunch of other concepts that I'll be updating as well. So these concepts are things that are useful to know. Things like founder market fit or how to answer why combinator questions from what I've seen, how to choose an idea, what an idea space is, what a tar pit idea is, and the reference to where you can find it. So this is something I'd recommend you guys bookmark and just look at whenever you need a quick refresher on any of these things. Or if you have a question like, oh, how should I go about like generating an idea? You can see all the YC references as well as all the related concepts. And it's sort of like a nice internal wiki. I also have an essay section, which I haven't populated yet, but it's supposed to be something like Paul Graham's essays that I'll write over time. And this is something that I'm not just putting it out there once and it's never gonna change. As I go on, I pretty much every single day, I am constantly updating something in my Obsidian. And whenever that something has to do with any of these public concepts I've published here, I will be updating this as well. So this is gonna constantly be updated. If you guys have any notes for it, you can let me know and I will take your notes and maybe update that as well. And I also have um, some stuff related to coding as well. So for example, if you watch my last video, you'll know I created an open source SaaS boilerplate for your landing page. Pages, and I have a little uh, readme of what that means and, and all the design standards that I chose to use for it and where all the sources came from and great, you know, uh, resources. So this is supposed to sort of just be a great like internal wiki reference for startups and programming with a ton of resources that you guys can use. And I'm planning, like I said, this is something that I plan to have for um, the next 20 years and I'm going to be updating and updating and updating it for a long, long time. So I'd recommend bookmarking it checking back in whenever you need a refresher on a concept. And if you have any ideas for what I should put in here, make sure you join the Tech Founder Discord. Let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video.